Attention! We only listen to Three Wise Radio. Should be, like, right here. Is I, I don't know. Is this good? Are we good? We're yeah. good. Okay. Are you good, Joe? I'm good. Seems like, like you, we not, might yeah. not be good. Are you a little off? Yeah, always. Okay. Because, I mean, this is a safe place, Joe. You can, you can talk to us. We'll only make fun of you a little. <laughs> Speak for yourself. It's <laughs> usually how these things go. No, it's not. So at first, you guys just try and keep it serious, and then, like, eventually it's just, let's rip on somebody for the last ten minutes? When it goes no, off the rails. no, no, <laughs> no, no, at least not on purpose, <laughs> unless you bring up Crystal Pepsi or one of my many others. Likes. Oh, yeah, there's a segment called Peaking Your Interest at the end, where oh, okay. we just say what's peaking our interest for the week. So you can literally pick anything. Cool. Can I pick my nose? If that is peaking your interest, then yes. <laughs> something, you, something you want to write home about, yeah, go for it. All that and biopics and biopics? I think biopics. I called them bio biopics, and then Steve, who's been on the show before, former roommate, said that it's biopics, and um, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Those. Also, some tech news. movies about people. Movies about people. Real people. All right, there we go. Today on the show. Welcome to Three Wise Radio, a podcast where we talk about movies, comic books, TV, technology, the internet, and pretty much everything else media related. My name is Joe Greller. I am one of the three wise guys. And joining me are the other two wise guys, Garrett Welker and Sam Pixley. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Joe. Hi, Joe. The enthusiasm, as you always, is well, it's cause you can fantastic. Tell, you can tell that it's getting, uh, summer is, is waning because it's starting to get dark pretty early. Yeah, but 7 o'clock. It won't be till daylight savings time. Which, as we usually cover now, is a pointless thing that farmers came up with. Oh. That's when it'll get really, really dark. Farmers fuel everyone. Was What's your beef? I don't have beef with farmers. I'm just saying. If you didn't have farmers, you also wouldn't have beef. <laughs> Cattle farmers. Not true anymore. <laughs> Used to. Not true anymore. They did. Make... I've seen the sad movies. That's not true anymore. What's not true anymore? If I, if I, there, there would be beef without farmers today. Who? I, the sad people that like you've never you've seen the sad movies of like cows being like oh you mean pushed. the pita, the pita films yeah oh. oh I don't watch those, no, those sad those movies are, what he's saying though is like yes there there because there's those kind of farms but then there's also just like regular farms where people don't mass produce beef cattle and stuff well that's not as tasty do you remember when Farmville was a thing. No. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Joe didn't introduce me. Where did you hey, we, we have a process. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. And that voice you Speaking hear of which. is our guest this week, our oh. senior biopic or biopic? You can choose. Biopic. Okay, okay then it's biopic. Our, for our the rest senior of the time. biopic correspondent, Tommy Kudis. Tommy, what makes you our senior biopic correspondent? Uh, for, for many, many years, uh, I was a big movie fanatic. If it uh, appeared in a major uh, movie theater, not some avant-garde, artsy-fartsy thing, I would see it. Uh, that and I have a subscription to HBO Go. So I, would think, <laughs> I think that makes me an expert. So, cool. It's tough to acquire that. <laughs> right? Not everybody is 25 bucks a month, man. Is, that, is it 25 bucks a month? Yeah. yeah. Oh, or is that if like you're not par- subscription with yeah. the regular HBO? Okay. So like if your parents have HBO, get their account number. And, right. That's yeah. still not unreasonable. No, it's yeah. not, bad. No, not bad. All right, let's start off with some headlines. Okay. First and foremost, Fast and Furious 8 will not have the character of Brian O'Connell. Or Brian O'Connor, I mean. Duh. What? But, Why? Because he's dead. But <laughs> Vin Diesel has recently given an interview that, to Entertainment Tonight saying that he would like to see the character in future installments. We, here's the cool. exact quote he said to Entertainment Tonight. We got to understand more about Paul and what he was all about. We had to share Paul with a lot of people in a weird way. He was gone a lot. He was filming, so we missed him. Sometimes, at the holidays, he wasn't always there, you know? He tried. We'd see him on set. We'd visit a few times. But you got to get that kind of closure and understanding. What is what? what is he talking about? Like, does Vin Diesel want to dig up Paul's grave and, like, do a weekend at Bernie's? So, no. They've already been Tupac, in talks with his... Like, the, with, uh, <laughs> making the hologram. The holographic what they would end up doing is what they did for Furious 7, and that was, like, you have him around and use his brothers and then, you know, kind of CGI his face, his on face you know, what, what little their face doesn't look like. You him. know, 
you know how you have those two graph like sometimes you'll see like a line graph that'll show like when something intersects like oh the growth of the growth of income versus uh, some kind of wealth disparity or something and eventually they intertwine does anybody know what I'm talking about yeah. the level of technology that that needs to grow for it to look good enough to legitimately make it happen will never meet up with when people actually want this to happen. <laughs> Like, it'll be 30 years down the road that the technology will be there, and at that point, we won't care about Fast Furious anymore unless they bring everybody back for, like, a old folks' home kind of, like, breakout <gasps> oh, situation. I mean, the, the, <laughs> the producers have talked, like, if he will be in it, it will be, like, in cameo roles only. Well, why that doesn't do make like, sense. Why don't they do, like, flashbacks? You could just kill the character. Yeah. But see, that's what I thought they should have done. Did they not kill him? No, they gave him a happy ending. Did well, you not well, see the last one? one? No, I did not. They drive. It's the dumbest ending ever. We spend it's not like the dumbest ending. Ever. It's the dumbest ending. Ever. So he drives off into the sunset. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Him and Vin Diesel drive off in the sunset separately and then go their separate ways while the uh, Charlie Pluth Wiz Khalifa All right, song so plays. So we start off. We start off Fast Eight with it's, that it's, with the with the exact same scene. His car blows, blows up. up. Yeah. Oh. And and it's Jason it's a bit Statham. On the nose. It's Jason Statham because why not? Because he's just he just shows up. No, he all the time. Die. The only way the only way this works, he can't show. You can't have him show up because family is the most important thing. The only way that this works is if the whole time this is they have to address it in this movie. That's to say, we we need Paul and Vin may, pulls the card of like no, he's out of this. They're still family, but the best thing we can do for them as family is to no one talks to them. We have a corona oath. No one ever talks to them about any of these situations. Because if they did, Paul Walker's not going to show up and be like, man, this stuff sounds crazy. All right, I'm out. Like, that's not going to happen. He, well, no, in, 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 the, in the Fast 8, he could be captured by the bad guy. And now it's, his family has to rescue him. And that way he doesn't have to be in the movie at all. But they could he, do like a CGI of him tied up in a chair. And the whole movie's them trying to rescue him. You can't make a person that's dead the plot... <laughs> Device <laughs> of the not? next movie because he's Hollywood's dead. Making this turn of a fucking dead. movie. I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know. Well, you, th- you can do anything. You know, it's not I, that it's going to be good. You really. know how I feel sorry for in all this is Jordana Brewster because she has to be written out of the series now as well, basically. So does that little kid? Well, no one cares about the little and that kid. minivan. The minivan, like, yes. But the minivan was going to roll probably anyway. And Jordana Brewster can't show up either. Right. That's why I said she's done. She can't. She can't do anything because you're not going to be like, oh, let's send. I mean, you can. I mean, maybe. No. Girl power and all nope. that other non. You know. Nope. All right. Let's move on to some. What other. is girl power? I abandoned my child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't write it. I'm an independent woman who. Don't yeah, need like no she, you know, she doesn't need Paul Walker to go have the adventure. Paul can sit home and take care of the kid while she has the adventure. It does. It still doesn't work because family. <laughs> He's got a point. Anyway. Do you think we'll ever see Fast and Furious: The Next Generation? No. Where it's like the children. We we won't. I hope. <laughs> That's enough of this. Anyways, some DC have, have, news. Have we mined this too much? Yes. <laughs> some DC news. The first pictures of J.K. Simmons as James Gordon have been released, and damn, it looks really good. It looks yeah, it straight does. out of a noir. Yeah, and it looks perfect. There's nothing mm-hmm. I would do differently. Nothing I would fix. It looks great. Also, how many bat signals are in Gotham? Enough. I think there's... It's got to be the same one. The bat signal didn't yeah. get destroyed in the last one, did it? Yes. Did it? He threw him into it. Oh, oh. that's right, yeah. Rebuild yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, well, I mean, but it also wasn't on top of the GCPD. I figure Batman can take his own signal. I think mean, at that point you just build another one. There's probably also a true. few, right? I would think so. Well, it's not even a bat signal. It's just like a, a big light. It's and a they sla- light, yeah. yeah, it's a floodlight, and they strap a bat silhouette on there. Sometimes a mob boss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's probably like a few in the city. Different trilogy there. (laughs) Yes, but for now. I don't know. It looks really good. No, it it looks great. Um, I'm excited to see what that, how that plays in. We're going to talk about the other picture? Go ahead. Talk about the other picture. Oh, I I just wanted to say real quick. You know how DC loves to do like their alternate universes? Yes. Yeah. What if Christian Bale comes into one of the Batman movies from an alternate universe. We've, I just had that thought. We've covered this. We've definitely covered this. Did he would, you? Be, he would be immediately killed. Oh, damn it. He is vastly underprepared for anything that is not within his own universe. Yeah. Okay. His, e- and even then. His greatest <laughs> attribute then. is a robot leg that he does not use. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fair enough. Glad that question was answered. Sorry, Joe. Go ahead. No, you're fine. <laughs> Sam, one of the other pictures. Um, the, the picture is just Batman in his new um, high-tech, extra-armored combat gear. Um, a lot of people don't like it. They think that they just took the costume from oh, Owl the, Man, the from night Watchman, goggles. from Watchmen, and uh, just slapped that on him. But, uh, which but, you can see, you can see. Yeah, it. sure. But, but wasn't Owl Man originally based off of Batman? Anyways? No, Alan Moore doesn't have anything. No, not original. How dare you? Uh, night uh, Owl Man is based off Blue Beetle. But he looks. I mean, he's a guy with ears. In, it in is. The it's the, it's the Ted Cord, Dan Garrett, like how there was a Golden Age Blue Beetle and then there was a Silver Age Blue Beetle, and they're mm-hmm. two different people. That's what Alman's uh, actually based off of. Can somebody pull up that other photo? Yeah, I never up. saw it. Yeah. So, the, but wait, isn't it? Isn't like this is how we're supposed to get the wide eyes? Maybe. I mean, that's that's reflect. what I'm guessing is that this is this is going to be a costume that he's not wearing all the time. This is going to be a. We're about to fight things that I, a human being, should not be able to fight. <laughs> Thankfully, I've got this, and I think those lights will light up in a combat situation. I think the, the eyes aren't what's really throwing people off. It's the way that they kind of, they go a little too far to the side, and then the ears don't stick right up. They kind of, like, flow up, which looks a lot like mm. owl, which looks like, like, like... You're right, mm. yeah. Okay. Are we saying owl, what is it? Owl man. It's owl not man. A, is it owl man? It's owl yeah. man. Owl man? Okay. Is it? Yeah. Night owl? It's either night owl no. or owl man. It's Owl Man. Owl Man, because Owl Man is a Thomas Wayne. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's Owl Man. I think it's Night Owl. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> is there another? Is there any other DC news? Well, <laughs> you're trying to ponder. Yeah. That. Uh, can somebody pull up which I'm, one? It I'm is? going. I'm going. I'm pretty on. sure it's Night Owl. Um, yeah. They they said, and this is all rumor and conjecture. Nothing revealed. But um, Man of Steel two. Henry Cavill's management team said that it's a Night top Owl. priority for him. It is Night Owl. Damn. Um, so that it's a top it. priority for him. And then, uh, so that, but that's the first we've really heard of it being moved forward. So like over, over Justice League? No, or, the, okay. over other work for him. Gotcha. Um, staying in this universe. Um, and then they said they're moving forward with Margot Robbie's solo uh, Harley Quinn film, which if it's a solo Harley Quinn film, like that's, that shit's going to get old. Yes. And no, it really depends. You could do... If it's a team-up, yeah. Yeah, if it's a team-up, like if you get her with Poison Ivy and somehow Birds of Prey gets brought into it, I'd watch that movie. I, I would. And, and if, as long yeah, as you're too, not trying to build... I wouldn't call that a solo film. No. No. But it's a solo film in the sense of she's going to get top billing and be the main, quote-unquote, main character. Right, but why is... Why... We don't need to have this discussion. Money. She's not in, she's not in Birds of Prey. She's not. She wouldn't be. She would be fighting them. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm just worried about the writing on that. Because when I, when I saw Batman vs. Superman, she started off with like a really interesting... You mean Suicide Squad? Yeah, Suicide Squad. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in Suicide Squad, she started off as a really interesting character and then just became a walking punchline near the end. Yeah. DC seems to have a problem with writing three and a half hour long movies and then having to cut it down to two and a half hours maximum. So I mean that that's what that's seems to be what that is. Yeah. Mm. But you're right. It's yeah. definitely something to be because eventually for if her for two hours she does just become joke insert joke insert yeah. joke you would have booty to, shot insert joke you would have to team her up with the straight straight person which I guess Poison Ivy is kind of she like, is kind of can be yeah um, the way the way they write them in the comic she is uh, so our last headline here. Apparently, because of all the reshoots to Rogue One, they've now replaced composers on a film set to come out in two months. Lando, what are you barking at? Assassins. Of course. As usual. Oh, so, Rogue One has now brought in Michael Giacca- uh, Giacchino. Oh, he's so good. Uh, he's done The Incredibles, the Star Trek reboot, oh. and the Medal of Honor series. So, I really love The Incredibles, so I, I feel like that's great. But do you love it because of the music? <laughs> yeah, actually. Nah. And he's, I, really no, I think the music really fit that movie. I don't. I couldn't remember the music. He is replacing me. Alexandre Desplat, who's done like Grand Budapest Hotel and Godzilla. Man, I you bet know, you pronounced his name right. Not even close. <laughs> oh, that's another staple. I mispronounce names. Ooh, they bumped a Gareth Edwards guy. Yeah. Interesting. I, but you know what this honestly probably is? The movie... Lighter tone? This does, yeah, this doesn't seem like... It's a bit of a stretch, but that they really did watch the movie and were like, wow, this is a little bit too much like a war film that we asked for. we got to turn this into a lighter tone so you have now a more lighter tone movie with a war film This isn't soundtrack. Disney nor Star Wars' MO, but clearly there is a war cut out there of this film. 
there is the film that they said they were going to make. I have no doubt that the film that I we want that bad. Right, I have no doubt that the film we'll get will be good. Yo, yeah. But that other film sounded very interesting. More people will like this one. Do you think yeah. we'll ever see it? No. No, oh, no, no, no. You, you probably will, like, uh, ten years from now in some, like, uh, director's cut with deleted scenes or some shit. I think so, but I also think... Disney doesn't do Dis- that, Yeah, though. Disney, I mean, like, Disney's they remaster- like, no... They remastered the originals. Yes, but... Right, but, but they, like, the things, they're, the things they're adding in are very small. This would be a very... No, this would be a very dramatic shift, like, even more so than, like, Batman vs. Superman to what we got. So I... I think Disney's a little too much like, nope, we know what we're doing. Absolutely not. We will not release anything else because this is all there ever was. I do think... No, no, you're right. You're right because Disney is that kind of like... Overlord? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. There's one way I think we'll get it because you know this is going in the vault or whatever. You know, they will not destroy this copy. You can't put Star Wars in the vault. What do you mean? Of course you can. Anything you can put a copy that you're never going to show, supposedly, in the oh, vault. Oh, you're not talking... Are you talking about, it like, a vault, not the Disney vault? Not the Disney okay, vault, see, that's what I, okay, like, okay. oh, we're not releasing it for ten years. Right, and then... that's what I thought you were talking about. Nobody puts Star Wars in a corner. Nobody <laughs> puts Star Wars in a vault. Yeah. Um, no, I, I think it'll be there. I think you may get this. Do you ever notice, like, when you go to Comic-Cons, they have, like, the bootleg DVDs where it's like, yes. get the entire season or this unaired pilot. People. I think you may in 10 years be finding this. I'd buy that. You know what I'm talking about, though? Like, yes, yes, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking I think if you're ever going to find it, that's how you're going to find it. Yeah. Someone somehow got their hand on it and now is mass producing it. Those vendors also always have action figures that are way too expensive for what they are. Oh, yeah. I hate those vendors. No, maybe they're nice. Probably not. Not good marketers. My mom says I shouldn't listen to Three Lies Radio, but I do it anyways. All right, we're going to talk a little bit of tech. Um, there's a lot of been going on. There's a PlayStation conference, an iPhone. Oh, I guess not an iPhone conference. I guess yeah, it was an, an iPhone app, conference. It, well, no, there's a new Apple Watch that just came out and some fancy stuff. And uh, just kind of break it down and kind of get our ideas on if any of this stuff matters or if anybody is excited about anything. So we'll start with the PlayStation conference first. Uh, they're a little behind on the scenes. Xbox One S already came out. The PlayStation 4... Pro? Is that the new one? Yep. Pro, Pro and Light are coming out. Um, what's, what's the Light going to be? The Light one is just a small version. It's just tinier. Okay. I think. Yeah, yeah the, the Light then, version is smaller, and the Pro is supposed to be able to play 4K. Ooh. That's the big distinguishing difference. Now, yes. are you are you a... Um, I'm a computer player. Okay, I, you're I, PC I up, over, I'm, like, yeah, nah, Master Race. I, I built my own computer. <laughs> that's what they're called. Yeah, the Master Race. Yeah. I mean, no big deal. Graphics yeah. are better. They are. I can see. No, they're, no, they're, dead. they're <laughs> definitely way are. better. Anytime, yeah. little, little news by for you, and whenever you see an E3, if anybody is ever playing, like, oh, we're showing you stuff off for Battlefield 1, and it says it's on an Xbox, it is not. It yeah. is on PC. Oh, yeah. Every time, because it looks infinitely better. Mm-hmm. They just have an Xbox controller, and they're not really doing anything with it. But the whole thing about the PS4, or the PS4 Pro, it's going to be big, because now it's going to push... Uh, 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 game designers to make 4k content true which will benefit pc players like myself true so i guess so you don't have any consoles i used to have a ps3 but the reason i built the computer was because uh i wanted to play retro games so i have emulators okay Um, and i mean i could emulate up to uh, a gamecube ps2 ps3 probably in an xbox 360 so i can the only thing I can't emulate is the modern stuff, and because I've never bothered to figure it out. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I guess the big, the, if you look at the stats, they're pretty similar. And again, like <laughs> the differences graphically, um, upload speeds are a little different, are, are negligible. Mm-hmm. The big difference, though, and yeah, this is what I kind of wanted to see: is this a big deal? Xbox One S will play 4K DVDs or 4K Blu-rays. Ooh. PlayStation will not. It'll stream. It'll stream Blu-ray 4K, but they oh. didn't do it. You well, know that's... what's really weird? No. Inter- small tidbit of information. Sony has the, uh, the copyright on Blu-ray DVDs. Yeah, because they won the battle. Yeah. So it's weird that the, PS, the PS4 the won't be able to play 4K. Do you remember what the Xbox was in the battle? Yeah, it was the HD. HD DVD, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, just, I find that really weird. 
Well, what they said that they're doing, what they said that the reason that they're doing it is because they are probably cost. paving towards the future. Uh, but how, how much would the cost to play, to play that? But honestly, think about it. When's the last time you actually put a DVD into a DVD player and played it? Joe, I know you I do a, a little bit. I couldn't tell you the last time I did that. Oh, I do. I, I like having a physical copy. I, you know, I enjoy having physical copies, but yeah. I mean, I still don't use a DVD player, though. I use, like, a console, or I use my Blu-ray player. Like, yeah. D- DVD players themselves are... Or well, we're talking Blu-rays here. Okay. It's just yeah. We're talking Blu-ray players. But I personally, I think kudos to them for being like, Blu-rays are, th- are going to be a thing of the past. I'm pretty sure Is people it... like the tangible, and I get that. Mm-hmm. But I think if you ask more people nowadays, would say, like, yeah, I don't really put Blu-rays in anymore. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. There's a, there's a shift to streaming uh, mm-hmm. over having a physical copy. But you can still go to Best Buys or specialty stores and find CDs of bands coming out right now. So I, there's always going to be a market, but I guarantee you they're going to start jacking up prices a, lot, yeah. a bit. It'll be like $15 for a brand new, straight from the theaters, Blu-ray movie. Sure. Whereas it'll be $25, $30 if you want a physical copy. Sure. So, would that sway anyone though? Like if 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 everything's Honestly, on the table. If I if I had or like if this new PS4 had an actual player in it instead of just being able to stream 4K, mm-hmm. like I would totally go get it because I would want that. I want that, but I, I mean. Well, the Xbox One S does. I'm not gonna put, get an Xbox though. I don't have any Xbox One games. I don't have an Xbox One right now. Yeah, and that's the big thing so. is like, is this a major selling point because? For your hardcore gamers or your even your medium gamers, um, the exclusive content is kind of almost a thing of the past, mm-hmm. except for like three major titles on each, which yeah. if that's your case, you know you're going to be a God of War guy or you know you're going to be a Halo guy. Like You know which way you're going to go. Right. Mm-hmm. That middle ground where people are just looking for a console, is that enough to sell at you? I would... Th- I th- Well, the Xbox... What, what is it called again? The new the Xbox? The One S. The One S. I could see slightly more people buying the Xbox One S because you can play physical copies and stream 4K, whereas the PS4 Pro can only... We can only just say PlayStation. Sp- PlayStation right. can yeah. only stream it. Thank, thank you. We're all struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So I, I think you might see a few more people because hard. it seems... Growing up, it seemed like hardcore gamers always picked the Xbox over the PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, am I? I couldn't. I couldn't. Am I talking you. claptrap here? No, I, I, I would, I would agree with that. I think it really depends on what you grew up with and what kind of controller you like. That's true, because the Xbox. No, no, can, I, no. I, I, I would, I would still agree with that because, like, the Xbox especially had like, especially once you got Halo into the mix and everything, like, it was a lot more competitive with had a lot more like inclusive. Multiplayer well, the online game was, was you were right. Yeah. Yeah. Halo single handedly P- took took control. Yeah. Oh P- yeah. PS2 had a very limited multiplayer experience, if that. You know, like I think most, I think almost all PS2 games had a max of like four players, maybe, if you were playing, and that and that was only through like LAN. You know, mm-hmm. so I. It had to be. Yeah. PS2 wasn't wireless. You had to be connected through LAN. But I mean, like you wouldn't be able to play an online game with someone. Well, actually... Correct. You had to be, like, on the same network. Yeah, I remember that, because in the original Halo, you couldn't actually... There wasn't really much of a multiplayer. It was more about having those LAN parties. Yeah. I remember going to friends' basements. Eight Xboxes. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. All eight, eight Xboxes all hooked up to different modems and routers, and everybody's scrounging around for some TV. <laughs> I don't have a bottle opener. <laughs> So I guess we figured that out. <laughs> um, I guess yeah. Moving. I mean, it's it's teach the. It's still all to each their own. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. As far as uh, the iPhone updates, they don't have a headphone jack. Does anybody care? Yes. You, know, you do care. <clears throat> but they're being confident or bold or. They are. But here's the thing: you're gonna lose those buds. I lose headphones all the time. Well, you don't have to buy those. But how are you gonna hear anything? How are you going to use headphones? headphones? Yeah, how are you going to... Um, the each, whole each... point of having the iPhone is for the music, at least in my theory. Each... Like, I enjoy the smartphone, but the reason I went to the iPhone is because I'd already built a vast library with iTunes on my computer, and I wanted it on my phone. Each yeah. iPhone comes with an adapter. So you could use a jack still. 
Yeah, it comes with it. Every single one. Yeah, comes that's with the one. controversy though, is that you can't charge your phone and listen. Use oh, music so at it's the back time. to the it's back to the shuffle. Yeah, the shuffle was the worst iPod ever because not only did it not have a screen that you couldn't see what song was playing, you couldn't play it and like charge it at the same time. Mm-hmm. How often? How often do you charge your phone and listen to music at the same time? Now that Pokemon Go has come out, all the time. Every that's time. That's fair. Yeah, because you got to have the battery pack to last more than 20 minutes. And I don't do it when I'm on the go, Says you. but I do it when <laughs> I'm at home. Like, I might plug it into a stereo and, 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 and be charging it at the same yeah. time. At home, that's fine. Yeah, or really if you important. work for a really crappy radio station and your iPhone is your equipment, is your equipment as well. Better, so better, better. You have to sometimes you have to charge it while Joe, you're playing. Joe, are you being it. spiteful right now? I'm not being spiteful. It I'm just, like I'm you're just being telling little... you the facts. <laughs> they shall remain nameless. If you listen to the podcast long enough, you can put the pieces together. <laughs> I mean, you're being a little passive aggressive here, Joe, and that's not healthy. It never is. <laughs> um, <laughs> be, beyond that, there's two cameras. Super neat. One's telephoto. One's not. Um, so, I mean, what, what's the What's the feature of that? What's the function of that? As you have better, you'll have more clarity when you zoom in. Um, I think it switches lenses once you kind of gotcha. see that you're you're zooming in. Um, more battery life, which for an iPhone isn't saying much. Um, yeah. Not 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 a whole lot to be excited about. It's water, not proof resistant. Water resistant for the first time, which again is like a ten year old technology. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like the eight is going to be the better one. Yeah, well that's what everybody's that's that's always been, for. and it's the, but it's the ten year. Gotcha. It's going to be like the, the maybe not ten year whatever it is, but it's going to be like an, an a big anniversary, and they're thinking that there's been a lot of rumors that like while this is something that they're coming out with, the big stuff is going to come for that, and that makes that makes sense. So people are wasting business. their money right now because then they're going to have to get a new phone in like a year or so. Oh sure, right? but there's already plans. I mean, like Sprint has a maybe it's not Sprint, but Sprint has a plan where you pay extra every month, and whenever you, a new iPhone comes out, they just toss it. At you, you lease your phone. That drives me fucking nuts. You have to lease your phone. Essentially, that's what, that's what most providers. That's, a, that's what you have well, to no, do no, now. No. Um, that, that's the only way you can do it now. No, no, no. I'm paying for this phone. I like, know. I'm going to own this phone outright in a year. Right, but that's but the it, only way you can buy a cell phone now. Yeah, is if you lease it or pay to go. So yeah. yes. Well, no. I mean, I bought my phone, but I signed up for a plan. But I bought my phone. Mm-hmm. Well, no. The big thing Sprint's marketing now is that you have to lease. You're, they're trying to push a lease on the phone, so that way, like, right. whenever so you a new can phone, constantly update. Yeah. I mean, if that's a, it's a, it's kind of a cool system because then you don't have to worry about like if you're a big iPhone guy you, or gal, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. But, I mean, the thing is, like, if you lease a car, that's one thing, but you're leasing a six hundred dollar piece of equipment. I, I, that, that, that to me bugs me. I guess I don't know. It's one of those irrational things. I, you know, I'm bitching. bitching. <laughs> no, it's that's fine. Opinions are important. That's why people do podcasts. Um, <laughs> I guess what my question is is, they they don't even iPhones don't even seem to be marketing towards people like Android users to like switching over. It's more about like, this is what's coming up with the new iPhone. So you iPhone users better buy a new iPhone. Can anything happen anymore that would make someone actually switch from an Android to an iPhone or from an iPhone to an Android? Or what would it take for you to switch? I don't know. I'm pretty happy with my Android. For Android to be able to take my iTunes library and put it on their phone. You can do that. You can. Not, not in the same vein. Oh, you no, know, I mean, you're right there, but I mean, you, if you wanted to, you could put iTunes on your phone. Yes, I, I understand that, but it, it's not in the same... I gotcha. It's okay, uh, a, a legitimate way. Joe, yes. you might be in the similar vein with me, is that, sure, you can do stuff on that, but I just, I, I honestly don't care enough. But it's like an, Andro- an Android would be like, it would have to be able to hover around me so I wouldn't have to keep it in my pocket. I also had an Android tablet and still preferred my iPhone to the tablet. Yeah, because Android I've always found it to be kind of buggy, a little bit more buggy than. Well, it's also that's also because it has apples. a little more, um, not uniqueness, um, customization. Like you can do more stuff to it. So yeah, those risks are stuff. there because those gateways are open. Yeah, but I also feel like Android phones come out with more bloatware and all that crap. Mm, sure. Know, yeah. Than a, than an Apple phone would. No, honestly, as as an Android user, I don't think there's anything that would make me want to switch. I. But is it because you're happy, or is it because it's just like, eh, this is this is fine? It's because I'm happy with my yeah. Android. Okay. Like, I, because I, when I first got my phone at the dawn of the Android iPhone thing, it was an Android, but I also had um, one of the iPod Touches. So I had, I had my fair share of, like, interaction with the iOS and everything, and it was just, like, not, not for me. I I do find the Android phone is a bit more user-friendly, because I've I've tinkered with the iPod Touches and the iPads, 
And I, I do think it's a little more user friendly. And in all honesty, you can be picky and have your choices because when we live in a world where it's like, oh, I'll take a Coke. Sorry, all we have is Pepsi. Ah, I'm good then. Oh, yeah, if I we're that, that picky back. over cola, mm-hmm. we can be picky over phones. It's true. But no, I, I think... <laughs> it's a I think fair it, point. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, that's exactly what we're getting into now. Because it's, it's at that point where there is... You're one or the other. Hatfields and, and McCoys of the tech world. And, 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 and unless you're just now getting yeah. a phone for the first time, like you're, you're set in what you're going to yeah. be. Do you think it's going to turn into a family thing? Because like, think, think of how young kids it's get like, phones like now. like sports almost. Yeah, you think like, how you young are kids your get phones are. now. It's like your parents are going to decide essentially what your first phone's going to be just because you're going to get it nowadays at like eight. Yeah. This is a family of Android users. My dad was an Android user. My pappy's pappy was an Android user. And by <laughs> God, my son's going to be an Android user. We won't be alive by the time someone can say my pappy's pappy. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the same time the Star Wars. Well, I think no, we're like, no, the, I was going to say the Fast and Furious <laughs> movie comes out <laughs> starring <laughs> Paul Walker. <laughs> Couldn't get it out, though. Damn. Oh, man. They're taking the Hobbits to Three Boys Radio! Because Snowden hit theaters this weekend and is a biopic about... Edward Snowden. Oh, I was going to say uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not with the way he's talking in that. No, he actually is doing a very good job. He sounds like... Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden. A sl- slightly over-exaggerated. Well, sure, he's an actor. Slightly. But he can't be any worse than Shailene Woodley, because she's oh. awful. Yes, as we covered in our Divergent episode. Is Anywho. Oh, yeah, she's is her, that, is that chick the main character from the Divergent <clears throat> series? Yes. Oh, I fucking hate her. She is a terrible human being. You don't have to say that just because you're here. a terrible human being? Oh, just edit that out. That means like, he has to work. Oh, like, sorry, Joe. She's oh. a terrible human being. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, okay, I, I'm sorry. That was an exaggeration. Just a bad actor. I didn't. I don't like her as an actor. She has that oh, whiny, no, nasally voice, and just, she's not great. No. Uh, I did. What was I was with Steve, <laughs> hanging out with Steve again from the show last night, and he said that one review said, "You know what this movie needs? Less, Less humping, more hacking." <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn you, Oliver Stone! Damn you. Anyway, because that movie came out, that's enough of an intro, (laughs) because that movie came out, we thought we'd take a look at biopics this week. Seems like a stretch, Joe. Mm. Mm. It's a possibility. (laughs) Do you know, or who do you think the very first biopic was made of? Was made about? Yeah. Who do you think the very first biopic was made about? Hitler. No, No. it was in 1900. Was it 1900? Um, Oh, I mean, since the movie thing started in America, I bet it was probably about George Washington. No. Zordon. It's a, it, it is a French person. <laughs> really? Les Miserables. That's Who's in Jean Valjean. That's not a real person. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, Napoleon. No. Marie Damn. Marie Louis Antoinette. the Fourteenth. You're getting closer. It's a female. Marie Antoinette? Joan of Arc. Yes. Oh! Wow! Ding, 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 ding! Two points for what Garrett over there. What does he win, there? Joe? Nothing. Perfect. Shit. So... <laughs> We thought we'd take a look at some past biopics. I have in front of me. You guys can talk about any biopics that were. Let me get some shit. I don't. I don't watch biopics. Yes, you do. What? What? We saw Forty Two in theaters. That was a good one. Yep. Okay, I saw that one. You've seen Ali, I'm assuming, at some point. Okay. Um, All right. Well, I'm gonna go down my list, and you tell me if you've seen these movies. Perfect. I have in front of me. It's a hundred list, but I'm only gonna do the top twenty-five. Okay. The one with Ben Kingsley as. uh... You mean Gandhi? Yeah. <laughs> I think that, that's earlier in the list. That's earlier in the list. Who's the who did I say with Gandhi last week? I don't remember, but it wasn't Ben Kingsley. No. Oh, it was um Stanley Tucci. Stanley Tucci. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Indistinguishable. I couldn't even get the name right for the joke. <laughs> you don't right. even know the name of our own podcast sometimes. Three wise. Now you do. Something. Radio. <laughs> anyway. Number 25, the movie Blow. Have Wait, what you seen? is this? This is the top 25, 25 biopics, according to IMDb. Oh, okay. Blow? Blow. Blow it was, was num- good, the, Kesha, number 25. the Kesha biopic? No. <laughs> you, you'd watch that, though. I would. Would you not? I would, especially now with all their Who shit with about? Dr. Luke. Um, <clears throat> it's about, base, it's George um, something. I can't think of his last name. But if you 
did cocaine. George Young. George Young. Yes, yeah. thank you. George Young. If you did cocaine in the 1980s and early 90s, oh, he there, supplied everything. There is yeah, yeah. a 90% chance he supplied your cocaine. Right. It, you know, from the way they made the movie, it seemed like such a sad story. Who played him? Johnny uh, Depp. Johnny Depp. Okay. It's actually one of Johnny I, Depp's okay, best yes. movies. All right. I th- I've seen bits of this. It's a great movie. Mm-hmm. He's good when he isn't drunkenly walking around like a pirate. Being coached by Tim Burton to make a movie. What are you yeah. watching, Garrett? I don't know. My phone just <laughs> started playing music. I, right. I guess Garrett has better things to do. I don't know. No. So, number 24. You've probably seen this one. Walk the Line. Yeah. Nope. Oh, I saw Walk Hard. Close, Close enough. enough. Is Close that, enough. Does that count? <laughs> Close enough. Walk it hard. doesn't count, but... Depending on who you ask, and if you ask me. Well, walk Hard wa- is a superior film. Well, that <laughs> has Joaquin Phoenix in it playing Johnny Cash. Oh, no. I know the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again... Familiar with many of these. I just pass. <laughs> That's fine. It's very fair. Number 23, Raging Bull, starring Robert De Niro. Did not see that one. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that it. was. Okay, yes. What was that the story of? He's a, a boxer, boxer, but I couldn't tell you who he's playing, because okay. I've, I've only seen bits and pieces. Okay. Jeff Chelios. Yes. No. <laughs> Jeff Chelios is the guy from Crank. This is all names. <laughs> anyway, number 22, Johnny Depp again as Donnie Brasco. That's a good movie. Uh, I don't know. No, I feel Black like Mass? there wasn't enough. Is that Black was... Mass? No, 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 no. Donnie... that wasn't Black Mass. Donnie Brasco is uh, a story about the guy who infiltrated. I mean, uh, I'm not saying it was a bad movie. movie; it was a good movie. But I just feel like there there wasn't enough like details. That's fair. You know, I didn't feel like they really got in depth with Johnny Depp's character. It was it was, it was more of a vague character. Yeah. Than, See, yeah, yeah okay, that's like that's my question. What makes something a a biopic? Like is um, it's supposed to delve into the main character. right, right, and their life. But so like is what's the one Johnny, the other one that Johnny Depp was Black in? Where he was a gangster or uh, Public Enemies. Public Enemies, which is number twenty-one is that, on our is list. Is that a biopic? Yes, because it follows the life of John Dillinger from the time he broke out of prison to his eventual death. Okay, so it seems like there's a lot of movies that are biopics. There are tons of movies that are biopics. Now, most of the time, if a movie is based off history, it's a biopic. As long as, like we said, if it delves okay, a little okay, bit deeper into okay. the main character. Right. I'm not familiar. I'm not so familiar does, that mean, the, does that mean Deepwater Horizon with Mark Wahlberg's? Is a uh, biopic. Bio okay. Yes. No. No. No, it's more of an no, incident No, that's an pick. event. That's sure. an event. Unless they show, like, the first half hour is him growing up wanting to be <laughs> Mark the savior Wahlberg. Of... The savior of whatever situation he wants to put himself in this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar with number 20 on our list, but it's from 2004. It's called Downfall and looks like... Uh, from the poster, it's about an SSR uh, Hitler person. Mm, so. I've not heard of that one. Um, Mark Wahlberg, though, is at number 19 with Ooh. Christian Bale, The Fighter. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, movie. seen good. that. But again, that doesn't... It, that is based off the boxer's life. Yeah, yeah. And delves it just around... Isn't... Here's the thing. You can never do a true, like, born-to-death biopic. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. Chaplin. Boom. Okay, fair enough, yes. Because that was Chaplin was a good fucking movie. It is, and then well, my, my, I Downey guess my, did all those my drugs. argument is that's because I don't think they follow enough of his life in that movie that it's it merits something being a biopic. Yeah. I see that as based on a true story or yeah. a depiction of an event in this man's life. Then you're gonna mm-hmm. hate number tw- eighteen. Good Hotel Rwanda. What is that about? That's the one with um. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle, thank you. And it's the thank goodness. It, it's the African uh, like the, 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 the Rwanda apartheid. is like under attack by like the local lo- like. I thought that was Lord government. of War. No, Lord of War is with Nicholas Cage. You know what Lord of War is. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. why I started laughing, asshole. <laughs> Number seventeen, The Aviator. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't either, and it's been on my Netflix with queue Leo, for right? yeah, yeah same here. for years, and same I just here. don't ever bother to click on it because it's a biopic. It's two and a half hours long, and I, I just don't know. Howard Hughes? Right. Yeah. I know he goes crazy. Oh, yeah, he's got, like, OCD and some shit. Yeah, like, he's the guy who was end up, like, he locks himself in a room, his nails go really long, and then starts pissing in jars. And But when you're a genius... It sounds brilliance like he likes to party. Something, something artsy about brilliance and not understanding it. Insert it. You know what I'm talking 16, about. 16, Amadeus from 1984. Amadeus, yeah. Amadeus. I would, I would definitely Amadeus. consider that one. Amadeus. Uh, number 15, and I will consider this a biopic because it follows the season, but it also delves into his life, Moneyball, starring Brad Pitt. That's not a bi- I mean, No, that's based on a true story. That is an event in his life that is not a biopic. Agreed. It's not about somebody 
does it talk about his his family life at home or like how yeah, he, he does be- his family does it talk life? About yes. How he became the man that he is. Yes. Y- no, you're right. You're, no, 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 no. I haven't seen Moneyball. Yeah, it does. Bo- it it does. does both of those things. They do explain how he got there. They do flashbacks why- for it. But it's enough to tell you how he got to where he is today. Okay. So yeah, no, you're right that it may. It, the story, the plot itself, is an event based on a true story. But this, they go back and give you enough details to understand why this is happening. And so also, then I guess I, <laughs> breaking it down, I would also I haven't seen the movie yet, but I would also consider Snowden not a biopic. It's an event. That is this person, just yeah. like I would say Sully isn't a biopic based on what we've seen. I mean, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but that's just how I am picture how I envision a biopic. So how much time needs to be covered in your mind before you there there needs to there needs to be there needs to be an establishment of why this person has turned into the person that they are. It can't be based off so Sully can't let's take Sully for instance. If Sully revolves around this event happens and then they depict his home life and how everything takes place from there. That is a story about how an incident affects a person's life as opposed to this is Sully's time that he spent in the Air Force. This is an incident that happened that helped sculpt who he is as a person and why he handled this situation. And then the event So there itself. needs to show growth before an event takes place and then you have a better understanding of how that person handled that event rather than how did this guy react to that thing. By that I, definition, then Donnie Brasco is not a biopic. But this is this is the definition of a man that doesn't watch biopics. So, so. your point is mute, mute. No. Oh, mute. it will never be mute, but it is. <laughs> it is. It is utterly mute. mute. Yeah. All right, number fourteen. I haven't seen this, so you guys can answer those questions if you have 127 hours. That's that's no, that's not. It's an event. That's an event. That's not a biopic. I didn't see the movie. I don't. No, know no, I have seen the okay. movie. A good movie, worth a watch, but no, that is. Far and away, not a biopic. I'm sorry. Okay. James uh, Franco cutting his arm off is not a biopic. What? He does what? Wait a second. No, 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 no. No, because if we're going to go off Sam's... spoiler Day- real life events, guys. No, I... It, it's been out for like three years. No, I, I'm, 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 I was being sarcastic. <laughs> I, I was being sarcastic, too. Um, Someone I, has to be serious or we'll never tell when the sarcasm hits. Well, no, actually, because did they... Do they do flashbacks in that movie to kind of explain, like... Because, uh... The, the guy James Franco was playing, he didn't tell anybody he was going out into the desert that day or didn't give his plans. Well, so, like, dumb. nobody knew that Rookie he was... Rookie mistake. Sp- right? And I think it was because he was arrogant or something, and I think they gloss over that in the movie. Yeah, he was very nonchalant about everything. Yeah, he's very nonchalant about Trying to about impress everything. people. And- yeah. I th- I, I'm still going to lean towards it being an event in that guy's life, and it's not a biopic, but they do attempt to cover Sam's askewed definition of what... Maybe, I mean, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Is that no, is no. that your impression? Your I've never impression? Seen the movie. No, no, not of the movie, of, of, but of a bio. But what is a biopic? I think anything where it is centered around one character, centered around one character that that was based in real life. Hmm. So Deepwater Horizon would be a biopic if Mark Wahlberg takes enough precedent. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. IMDb I like probably I'm, knows I'm what kind a biopic of like is. In the middle ground there. Yeah, guys. I mean, I, I, I just don't know where to fall. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Garrett. Like, I'm uh, right there. I see your logic, Sam. I see your logic, Joe. But I just, I feel like by going with your definition, Joe, we're being too broad and giving Hollywood too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> and if I go with your definition, Sam, we're, like, being too artsy-fartsy and... I mean, I like my dick jokes like any other human being. Bam, I'm dick a, jokes. I'm a blue-collared, dick and balls talking motherfucker. I want to. Uh, do we have a rating? Like, can I swear? We're, we're explicit. We cover this. We're explicit. We never say it because as soon as we say you can curse, everybody just starts cursing all the time. And it's a real downer. P.S. You're uh, fine. <laughs> but okay, so King's speech is King's speech a biopic? Yes. 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 Because in order for them to get to the end of the movie, the whole point is that they go back into King George's past. That is a biopic. Okay. My c- That's also on the list. It's coming up. All right, I'm going to get back to the list. Yeah. It's a good movie. It is a good movie. 13, uh, the, uh, 13 Intouchables, which is a French movie. And uh, Untouchables is it. a really good movie. True. Kevin Costner. Uh, I heard that was shit. <laughs> you heard it from uh, the Number 12, Casino. Mm, yeah, I like that movie. That's a, that's a biopic. That is. It's yeah. a biopic on Ray Liotta's character, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess. 
Yeah, that's definitely. Oh, is that based on a real ca- real person? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, not, not, not really. I'm thinking Goodfellas. Uh, Robert De Niro. Yeah. It's based around Robert De Niro. I had no yeah. idea that was based on a real person. Oh, so yeah. So maybe that's just my ignorance. That's a dope movie. Uh, mm-hmm. Number 11, Pursuit of Happiness, starring yeah. Will Smith. Yeah, whatever. E, but yes, that is, I would say that is a biopic, because while they don't delve into, like, his... It follows a very... It, it follows, follows a long, long time span, yeah. yeah. Um, so does our next one, and it follows two long time spans, American Gangster, with Russell Crowe and Denzel Washington. I never saw that. I, I should it's see good. that. It that is, is good. That is a good movie. Either. That's a very good movie. And I will agree, that is a biopic. Um, it's a biopic about two different people, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> But I mean, it it's... takes them from the moment their careers start to their their inevitable like meetup yeah. 10, 15 years later. And not only that, but you do get to see like who Russell Crowe's character really is. Like he's a womanizer and he's a bit of a shithead in a And you get to see who Denzel's character is and like yeah. why he does it. He's not really like he's a bad guy, but like he does it for He's an American gangster. Yes. He's a non Italian gangster. Yes. Um Number nine, I never seen this movie, but apparently it changes every Film Student's Life Into the Wild from 2007. I hate that <laughs> fucking movie so goddamn much. I'm s- That's, you know, Holy that's shit. where the passion comes from. Wait, who's in that? Is it Johnny Depp? No, no, no that's, it's, that it's the dude kid. from The Girl Next Door yeah. who's also an alpha dog. Um, oh, oh. Yep, yeah, yep. I know who you're talking I, every about. Every film student I've ever that met are like, movie. Into so the Wild changed my life. I, then I went on adventures and everything so else. And I'm like, so did, so did Atlas that, Shrugged. That movie Fuck makes off. the bile. <laughs> <laughs> Atlas Shrugged. God. Oh, man. So did Atlas Shrugged. <laughs> Into the Wild makes the bile just rise up in my belly. <laughs> Why I, do you hate it? I, I, I know people down and, who have like... I sat down and watched that fucking movie. I mean... <laughs> Oh, it was made in 2007? Yeah. yeah. With it's, Emile Hirsch and Chris Stewart Hirsch, that's and Vince name. Vaughn. That changed no one's life. No, <laughs> it is a shitty fucking movie, and I get why you it's know, ins- these art, inspirational. These half homo art students, no offense to anybody who's an art student. Uh, <laughs> but like, I get why you would say that because there's a lot of it, symbolism and you know all that crap in there. But like, it's a, it's a kid who didn't know what he wants to do, so he goes to Alaska to live in the wild, which is fine, but then he starts to you know, become weak during, to, due to malnourishment, and instead of just going back into town like any rational human being does, he fucking dies in the wilderness. He meets Wait, great real? people along the way. He yeah. meets a fucking girl, and he makes Kristen all Kristen Stewart. These, yeah, Kristen yeah. Stewart. I mean, granted, I think he was like 18 and she was 15 in the movie, okay. but like, yeah, you, that, that's, that's a no-no. But the fact is he has all these great... <laughs> Adventures like any other human being would have been happy with what he did up until the part where he's like, ah. but like, <laughs> I fucking hate that movie because like it's, it's it's just oh my it's just so it, the ending is so god awful and there's really not much there's not there's no uh, 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 seems pretty artsy it's very artsy but there's like no there's no dilemma it's like yeah the kid doesn't know what he wants to do with his life but. It's so it's self-induced. Yeah, it's, it's like it's, oh, that my the character h- itself has a problem, but you, the audience member, have to really invest personally in it, and it's not a problem a lot. Like, I don't. Well, I, from I, what from what from what the the screen grab that I just looked at, and apparently this changes a lot of people's lives. Maybe I'm off, but the this the the synopsis basically says a kid that has everything feels like he's just kind of a product of a machine that kind of put him out and he doesn't know who he really is so he goes out into the woods yes. and and dies and, and, and yeah that's yeah. pretty much what it is which kind is how I which is some something people would if they don't know what they want to do there's no <laughs> would do it's a it's a big stretch to get it, that would be a big stretch to get me to get on your side of like oh man you're right it is so tough being that privileged (laughs) no because he comes from like a family who's very rich and affluent he was already going to be going to a really nice college and i get why uh, somebody would look at that and go god there's got to be more to life this i understand that sure but the problem go on a vacation (laughs) go to some work in haiti don't go into the woods to die go to Haiti. yeah seriously (laughs) volunteer in a third world or uh or just like book it around europe on your parents money or something but like don't fucking die. <laughs> like oh, it's it's not, you're right. Fuck this movie. Yeah, fuck that movie. Move on, Joe. You've pissed off my night. 
I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not faking it. That movie really pisses me off. <laughs> Number so eight, bad. King's Speech, as we covered earlier. <laughs> Good yeah, movie. I love, the, Good I movie. love watching that Great movie. movie. I love watching that movie. Talking about rich and titled white people. Come on. Oh, yeah. Lay it down. <laughs> British monarchy oh, doesn't God. get any better than that. Just an up jumped jackalope from that's the colonies. A tra- that's a transition, Joe. Oh, man. <laughs> Number seven, The Penist. The penis? Pianist. He did that on purpose. Yeah. The pianist. Pianist. <laughs> pianist. Joe, that's stupid. Adrian Brody? Yeah. He learned to play the piano for that. What's the one that I always get that? Uh, for some reason, maybe it's because the covers are so similar, but I always get that confused with The Beautiful Mind. A Beautiful Mind is on the list as well. Come <laughs> up. <laughs> Isn't um, it just a picture of their face, like, no. with some backdrop? That is A Beautiful Mind, but that's not, that's not the pianist. You sure? Yes. I bet you nickel. I'm looking right at it. I don't see what you're looking at. Fair enough. Number six, Catch Me If You Can. Good movie. Yeah. yeah. Amy Adams has braces in that movie. She does. Uh, That's number all I f- remember. Number five, and I would consider this a biopic because it covers a decent amount of time, uh, The Social Network. Yes. Yeah, I'll yes. give you that. It's a biopic, but I fucking hated it. It's because well, that's a, the biopic is because there's there's events that dictate who he is before the big event it's takes true. place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Catch me if you can. Tells the story of this guy before the government starts looking for him. It yeah. kind of says like, this is what's going on. The government is now after him. If they had made this movie of just like, who is this? Tom Hanks, right? Tom yeah, Hanks Tom, Hanks is, Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks is the FBI. Is just immediately looking for this guy, and here's him running away. That's an that's a movie based on an event. Yeah. It's defined this man's life, but yeah. that doesn't mean that it's a biopic, even though it is because a biographical picture is just. Yeah, we yeah we're being nitpicky. we've covered this. Yeah. We're being nitpicky. So like, number four, do you, do you Samsung versus Apple. Again? Yes. Okay. Um, number four, A Beautiful Mind. Okay. Okay. That no. is a great movie. You know what? I thought it was a great movie when I first watched it. I've only seen it once. I've only seen it once. <laughs> I actually seen it again recently, and I'm just it, it's just boring. Do you know what a that? better movie is? It, it is it is a very gladiator. Movie. It's a very <laughs> slow movie. <laughs> oh my god! That's but also but, honestly, sadly that's, not a biopic. That's that's an upsetting <laughs> thing. You know that. Historians may dig up a tomb with uh, the the Spaniard Marcus Aurelius. Actually, if he has a tomb, it it better have the description of who he is on that tomb. You know what the problem with that movie is? Is that Beautiful Mind or Gladiator? Gladiator. <laughs> okay. Not on the list. Doesn't matter. Okay. That movie. Well, because we watched it yesterday. That movie is so good that it condemned Russell Crowe for me because anytime I see Russell Crowe in another movie, I'm like, fuck, I wish I was watching Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> Even name Man a, of Steel? I can't name a single... Man of Steel. For the brief time that he's in it? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. he, he, I mean, half of the time he's playing a person, and then the other half he's playing a computer where he's just straight-faced. Yeah. And, you know what's not on this list that I, is a good biopic starring him? is Cinderella Man. That is a Ooh, great yeah. movie. That's a good movie. I've, oh, man. I'm going to... Seriously, I'm going on Amazon when I get home, and I'm It's on Netflix. That. Gladiator Fuck it. I want still, the original. I want the hard copy. Than that. Okay. Right, so what's next on our list? Uh, number three, Goodfellas, yep. which Great is movie. is a biopic centering around Ray Liotta's character. Mm-hmm. I this is where well the list is already whacked, but number two on this list is a biopic, and I'll consider it a biopic. Okay. These all are, but it's not a true biopic because they get it very wrong. Braveheart at number two. Oh yeah, is, I've heard that's like the what? most factually inaccurate biopic. Period. So yes. is, this, it's an action movie, dude. That's it's an action movie based off of things that happened. If that, is, that movie is based on true events at its core. Yeah. What does that mean? Based on true events? Oh, no. oh, oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Like, that gotcha. movie is based... Like, if you told me, like, Braveheart is a biopic about... William Wallace. William Wallace. You'd be like, nah, man, that's just a movie. I gotcha. Because they... they uh, you know, it's just a movie Stre- they stretch the truth to make it a better movie. To make him seem like more of a hero. Yeah. Whereas wasn't he a bit of a he was a terrible shit. person. He was a terrible person. Yeah. Anybody that was able to do anything back in those days, probably not, probably not the best human yeah. being. Yeah. You don't want to know want to know a fun secret? Never seen Braveheart. No. You're not missing that. But I've much. seen the Mel Gibson movie with the dragon. Dragonheart. Yeah. Dragon All right. Heart. Which wh- number one on the Wait, list? Wait, was that Sean, Sean Connery? Connery? Yes, ah! we've covered this on the cast too. Yeah. No, no, we have. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, Mel Gibson's been in a movie with a dragon. 
I'm pretty sure it's Dragonheart. What was the one? What was the dragon movie with like Christian Bale? Not to get off topic. That was uh, Rain of Fire. <laughs> Rain of Fire. Rain of Fire. If you Google Mel Gibson and then put DR, it says Mel Gibson dragon movie is the top search. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dragon Blade. Oh, okay. Let me finish this list. We got one more. Let's nope, get that's this. not it. That's not it. What? Anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah let's... Number one on the list is Schindler's List. Of course, it would be. Oh yeah. I mean, no, it's a great movie. I shouldn't be facetious about that. It's a fantastic movie, but well, at least give it. It is a biopic as well. No, it is a definitely. A... Well, mm. it starts off. It covers enough period of time where their where the character has change. evolved. That's true. That is true. The character mm. does evolve. He starts off as one person and ends as another. I mean, the one thing and there's is, not really a key event. That's true. Yeah, it just follows 3 years of the life where the person changed. I mean, to me that covers the But no, the the one thing is we've unofficially decided that uh, <laughs> there has to be something has to come along to kind of tell you why the character starts off as such. A preface, almost. Yeah, there has to be a preface to the main character, and you never get that in Schindler's List. True. So, I mean, yeah, I'm nitpicking here. I'm being a you-know-what. So, but, so yeah. that is what the top 25 are. If you're looking forward to some biopics, you have Hugh Jackman starring as P.T. Barnum next year. Cool. You have Nicholas Hout starring as J.D. Salinger, and you have Gary Oldman starring as Winston Churchill and Robert De Niro starring as Bernie Madoff. Now wait a second. Out Brendan movie, Gleeson movie played Winston Churchill already in a movie. Well, some other people can play these characters. Yeah, but they already Tommy. made the movie, and it was like ten years ago. Oh, remakes? They made Spider Man seven years ago and made another one again. Well, yeah, that that's that's you know Marvel or no, that would be Fox, right? That's Kicking Marvel. a dead. Well, Marvel. It was Sony. No. Now it's Marvel. Oh yeah. Oh wait, Marvel bought Spider Man. Oh, Not yeah. yet. No, it's kind but of a fancy. They have like creative it's, control. It's they have creative thing. control over the first movie, and then they'll slowly release that kind of creative control as as they. So progress. basically, Spider Man's going to be great, and then slowly get worse. So what's some other ones that like we've seen <laughs> that we're like we're, we're excited for? Oh, um, Kill the Messenger. Okay. I saw that movie. It was. It, I don't know if it was in theaters, but I saw it on HBO. Yeah. Uh, you get that plug yeah. from there. Yeah. 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 Callbacks. Um, I saw that movie, and I was so sad. I can't see it again because I, I just hated how much, like, the CIA shat on, what was his name, Gary, um, on, the, on Jeremy Renner's character. Mm-hmm. Like, I was so distraught about that. I was like, Gary okay. Webb? Gary Webb, thank you. Um, I was so distraught on that. I can't watch the movie ever again because they, they just, like, as soon as he uncovered all of it, his life just went to shit, and then he killed himself. It's fucking sad. Mm. Oh, spoiler alert. It doesn't count if you say it afterward. It does. So, all right. What is a character here? Real quick, because we're going to run long on time here. What is a character that you want to see made into a biopic? Emilio Estevez. You, you want to see him play someone? Or you want to see a biopic on Emilio Estevez? Either or. Who's going to play him? I feel like you'll get Emilio the one on Charlie, Charlie Sheen! <laughs> Neither of them can Sorry. handle that <laughs> at this age. Nor would anybody risk the money. No, what they do... Oh, shit. What's, what's their dad's name? Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen. You do a biopic on Martin Old version. Sheen and Star- use Emilio Estes. No, you would use Charlie Sheen. He looks like his father. Does True. He? Yes, he does. Yeah, but doesn't Charlie Sheen have the hiv? Yeah. So you know, they got to so shoot that movie now. Nah, Magic you Johnson's know. had it for yeah, years. Just inject $50,000 directly into the bloodstream. Yes. <laughs> uh, Thanks, one, thing that, one thing that I thought was, was funny that I saw pulled up... Uh, how long is it before Tilda Swinton plays David Bowie in a biopic that wins every award? Ooh. They look pretty similar. Yeah. Dude, like, she's dude, already she's... played um, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, yeah. So she's, I mean, and she's good. She's oh, very yeah. talented. Uh, the only other one that I thought was funny this is just for, mostly for you, Joe. Owen Wilson, Wilson in the Wayne Gretzky story. Is if you look real? at it, they look similar. A little bit, yeah. They could totally do it. I'm not Ooh. saying it needs to be done. But in terms of looking similar, it's there. Nah, it's not pulling up. Whatever. I see this. Uh, I just don't want Wayne Gretzky to score a goal and go, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Did Wayne Gretzky not do that? No. Do you, other question. Do you feel like we've really gotten our heads fully around Steve Jobs? Or do we need another one? <laughs> do we need a fourth or fifth or whatever it is? No, no. We're done. Steve Jobs is a shit. We're done. Especially after... Wait, did we? are we done done? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. no we're done with especially Steve especially Jobs. Especially after no. the one with... Uh, Fassbender, I think that's... Here, who would you like to see? Um, 
no one that I would really like to see. I mean, I would like to see a Bowie one. That'd be great. Um, one that I saw is coming up soon. It's called Birth of the Dragon. Um, nice. I don't. I don't. I don't know how long if it's gonna fit our time span. Continue like our constraint that we want. Um, but it's basically about the early years of Bruce. I was telling Joe about this. It's about the early years of Bruce, Bruce Lee, Lee. Um, in America and like him starting to train people oh. in kung fu and a a kung fu master from Shaolin like a Shaolin temple comes in and is kind of like watching over him and just like you're you're nothing Bruce Lee like you're just all flash you're you're not capturing the essence of kung fu but i thought they already made a uh, biopic on Bruce Lee they might have i mean yeah, uh, but once again yeah, you can yeah, remake it, movies but, no they can't joe but they it, can and and so they do. and so it's basically the, the story of, like, the fight between them. Okay. And I'm, I'm assuming it's an actual story. I would guess mm-hmm. that would be a biopic. Um, but it's called Birth of the Dragon. Looks pretty cool. I was telling Joe, it's the, the same guy. The, this is how they advertise it. It's, like, this really cool fight scene. It's, like, from the direct from the fight director of X-Men. Oh. And I was just like, what? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Well, I mean, th- there nah. you go right there. It's not going to nah. be good because they've got a director from X-Men making it, so. No, no, no a fight choreographer. It was a director from X-Men. It's just Brian Singer. Oh. Oh, okay. No. Or Brett Ratner, and no one wants that. <laughs> Half the time I know what I'm talking about, Joe, so. But I don't know. It, it looked pretty cool. I would, I'd be down to see it. So, Joe? Joe, yeah, who? Anyone you'd like to see a biopic of? No one right now, but maybe, like, when we're really old. One of us? No. No. Me. The Rock. Ooh, that'd be really cool. That'd be neat. Who would you get to play The Rock, though? That's the point. Well, maybe, a maybe, literal maybe rock. they will genetically... Genetically, he ha- he does. He only has daughters. Uh, if he ge- they genetically like produce the rock, the rock again. <laughs> They'll clone him in a test tube. Actually, can I take my original one back? With uh, you can do whatever you want. Sweet. I actually just I just thought about this as we were talking about it. Uh, Siskel and Ebert. They have one on. Do they? I think that would be fascinating. No, no. I'm sorry. That's a documentary. I'm thinking of Roger Ebert. Yeah. I think that would be very, I think that would be interesting. Like, mm-hmm. how did they get to the point where people gave a damn enough to give them a show about yeah. uh, about their ratings and thoughts on movies? I think that'd be interesting. Yeah. You consider like even what we're doing now is kind of all spun off of that. People just giving their opinions on stuff. Yeah, this seems like a, a weird one, and maybe it's just because I'm getting into the we're almost in the Halloween spirit. I'd be in, I don't know if I'd really be interested, but I'd be interested in seeing. I don't, I don't even almost want to say because like, there's just like a spark of interest in it. I'd be interested to see one about Rob Zombie. I would Ooh, love to see and like yeah. the tr- the transition from a person who was like I made hardcore actually, musician no, he made with that transition, first. but that transition like to like oh you know what I actually want to make films. Yeah, I think that'd Dude. be a very interesting story to see like a brief bit about his childhood and how he kind of became this person, and then flash forward a bit into. Um, that kind of that rock style and then another transition like i want to transition to movies because i'm sure he didn't like super easily be like hey guys i want to make a horror movie about a clown family (laughs) oh oh sure how much money did you want for that because my checkbook's just wide open i think that'd be kind of interesting yeah that would definitely be i'd 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 see that in theaters. It's things like that because it's things you don't really need to o- extremely overly exaggerate. Like you'd want to see one over like sure the Wright brothers. Like you can say something like that, but I think you would also have to over exaggerate some of the things that that, yeah. that happens because you want that moment where like no one thinks they're going to fly and then everyone's at the yard and they didn't fly the first time, but then the next time they fly and like things that are not necessarily historically accurate. Yeah. But with Rob Zombie or like a smaller character, you can have a little more um, glamour put well, on. Yeah, because like guess. with the with the White Wright brothers, you'd have to put a lot of drama and that like, for lack of a better term, like that Disney esque storyline. Right. It. Right. Uh, whereas with Rob Zombie, it's I'm sure his life, in and of itself, is very interesting. You know who I think would be willing to direct a Rob Zombie um, movie? Joe, Joe Groller. No. Maybe, but I was going to say Rob Zombie. <laughs> yeah, <I was> gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't somebody do that? Like, direct their own... Oh, wait, no, yeah, I'm thinking about what was Boys in the Hood. Didn't Dr. Dre produce that or something? Oh, Dre, no, straight out of Compton. Straight Ice out Cube of Compton. Whatever, produced it. Executive and, producers. Yeah. and there was talks of how they left certain 
bad things. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah. They like did. Drake beat the shit out of his wife or something like that, or I don't know. Oh, wow. Hey, it wasn't a straight out of Compton, so. Crazy motherfucker name Ice Cube. <laughs> Look up in the air. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Three Wise Radio. It's disappointing. As usual, we end every episode with what's piquing our interest, or we just say what's piquing our interest. Why break tradition? Garrett, what's piquing your interest? Two um, things, Joe. No, just one. Mm. Um, I was going to say, uh, Donald Glover had released that he's going to be, or has announced that he's going to be releasing a new album this month, and I'm really excited about that. When so. was his last release? Uh, 2015? Yes. 14? Yeah, it would have been 2014 with the Because the Internet. He had, like, smaller releases, but, like big release oh dude the only thing on my radar right now is still that picture of <laughs> gordon gordon it's so good that kind of blew everything away uh, no but apparently there's there's talks now that the the thor roommate skit was so good that they want to bring that guy in for thor ragnarok but it makes no sense and there's no way it could possibly <laughs> fit in anywhere J- just do another one off yeah just another skit because <clears throat> that was a great skit yeah that I mean, yeah, just do like a, yes, just do a short. That'd be great. Just like every time that he comes back to Earth, he just stays on Earth for a little. <laughs> That's bit. who he rooms with. Yeah. Again, <laughs> I would if you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. Thor, Agreed. on vacation essentially. Tommy, what's piquing your interest? What's piquing my interest is the uh, new World of Warcraft expansion that came out. Legion. Legion, yeah. Don't talk about it too much because then I'm going to buy it and relapse. No, that's just, <laughs> that's my problem too. I got out at uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I right. didn't play ca- Cataclysm <laughs> or Cataclysm or uh, Pandaria. Yeah. I hadn't played those. I, I, I've been clean and sober for three years <laughs> now. And all I keep hearing is that Legion's a pretty good expansion, but I don't want to spend a month and a half grinding up a character just to fucking play the you end know, game. You know, if you, if you buy it, you get a level 100 character right off the bat. No shit. Don't yeah. tell him that. Oh, Dude, I know exactly where you're at. I quit post-Lich King. <laughs> Guys, seriously, though, World of Warcraft is like a drug. It is. It really is. It's not a it fun is. game. Like, people ask me, is it fun? And it's not fun. But that's the thing. Does. No, it's fun when you are fully committed. Like, me and, me and Brian, friend of the show... Of good, good, bad, bad. Good, good, sorry. Good, 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 bad. Don't ever ask me to know the name of good anything. Bad. Bad, bad. <laughs> good, baddie, baddie, good, good. Um, <laughs> when we, when we, when I had the most fun with Warcraft, it was when we had scheduled like raids where you and the people in your guild would get together mm-hmm. and do like a, so it was like 10 people online yeah. and pushing it and, but you have to invest a lot of time in it. Otherwise it's not as fun, yeah. but I know exactly what you're yeah. saying. The I've been interested in coming sucks, back. But when you're, Raiding when you're doing raids with your guildmates, that's it's fun. fun. It's super fun. But god damn, it just sucks so much of your life away. Yes, it does. I, oh, I, I can't. I'm in a good place in my life. I can't do that to myself. You know what else hurts it that I found as well? Yeah. When when you and I were playing it, well, I don't know how old you are. But oh, I played and, the original. When you and I were playing it, yeah, fifteen dollars a month was like that's so much money. And now but now that we have adult jobs yeah. $15 an hour is like I could totally I, spring I can for that piss $15 I don't get well, it well yeah. easy easy there cowboy I don't know if I could maybe $10 I really. have prostate <laughs> issues okay <laughs> but uh, yeah no I'm right on board with you and like, I can't believe you I said just, that because oh. it's hurting don't get it no no I won't, Joe. I, won't, Joe. I, won't, I, won't I won't Joe what about you Joe what's speaking your interest <laughs> please get us off topic the new season of South Park premiered last boring. Wednesday boring oh it did that's the thing it wasn't boring to me but Oh, I was just being a dick. Oh, no. It wasn't boring, but for the first time, they have... The, see, South Park over the last two years has started to actually do season-long storylines. Ooh. And I was intrigued by this, and I really liked it, but they've had problems delivering in their season finales. Like, they keep building and building, and the season finales don't quite deliver. I gotcha. Especially Could it whenever, though? That's the thing. I think the anticipation, what you expect from a really good episode of South Park, just doesn't deliver. It's why the, most of the time their season premieres don't deliver because people want it to be so big. You want something explosive and something. You've and never that seen happened before. again, but it wasn't because the jokes were off or the topics were too broad. It was because they continued the storyline for the first time from a previous season. The storyline that they built all through last season was still very prevalent and still building in this season. So they don't drop anything. They, yeah, they have yet to drop anything over the last three years. That's... It's starting to become like a real show with a real overarching storyline, which at first makes you think, well, that means I've got an endgame and I can't wait to see the endgame. 
but I know I've seen enough documentaries on Matt and Trey to know they don't have an endgame for next week. Yeah. I mean, that's inter- That's so interesting. I mean, shit, you guys could talk about that next week. I mean, they might. <laughs> who? Know? I mean, yeah, it's... We got Westerns next week. Oh, but. Okay. It's inter- it is interesting because you feel like if they've been doing this for three years now, has this become old? Has the idea of like, all right, the plot device is going to extend the whole season. I want to get back to what topical thing happened this week. Let's do something that has One off, yeah, to do just, with anything. No, 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 because I think this is the logical step because these past few seasons they've been doing those trilogy sh- shows. Yeah, and those were always good. And when I they think would that's have... the next step. You know, they, I don't think Matt and Trey are – Go, I, they are allowing themselves to take the next step. Does that make sense? Because like for them to backtrack and just go back to the one-off, one-off shows, I, I think it's you know this is a bit of like a artsy fartsy like moral stand. Like they're the saying the that this is what we want to do. We think this is the best thing for the show, and it, it's what we want to do. They're you know? creating. They're, they're creating allowing the new themselves not to be show. bored with the show. I think that's what it is yeah. too. Is that they're like, I mean, let's let's do something different. Yeah, I mean, hell, I didn't the they mic. originally want to make South Park like a musical or something? Or no, that's what they wanted to do with Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Yeah, and then they did create write a musical with Book of Mormon. So yeah. I haven't seen that yet. I want to see that though. When does it end? That's the point. See, I think it's it, it's going to end soon. I mean, not soon. I mean, relatively. I could, I could I could see it ending in the next five years. I was so I think the same I think thing. Trey and Matt are also people that it's not going to be like a Family Guy. Where it's like let's just keep pumping it out because whatever. I think Trey and Matt eventually will be like, yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 like, and, but and, we'll, and we'll pay it, you. We'll pay you 150 million dollars to be Bond again. Nah, it, like it, this is it. And they've already said when we go off the air, y- you won't know it. Like it's not going to be a big hurrah. It's just going to be like uh, show's over. This was the episode. Yeah, I, I guarantee you that's going to be like a character just turning straight into looking right into the. Camera, I did air quotes, and saying, this is it, bye. Like, yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. Something subtle. Yeah, that is gonna... interesting. Even more, like, honestly, thinking about TV shows that are on the air right now, like, what are some of the longest running TV shows that have been on the air right Simpsons, now? Simpsons. Simpsons, hands yeah. down. Well, well, besides that, I'm talking about, like, live like, action. Bones, live action. Like, it's Bones, been those Supernatural, for, like, Grey's years. Anatomy. Don't care. I care about those, but, like, how big of a deal will it be? When, when Simpsons South. has a last episode, when oh. South Park has a last and episode. And as we talked about, and Simpsons people has already real. used what they were going to do for their series finale. They've already aired that episode. So now they don't know. Wait, what? The Simpsons, yeah. Simpsons already aired what they thought was going to be their series finale. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Not because they thought it, but because, like, screw it, let's just use the idea. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like, well, and it's not to say these are real people, but, like, these aren't even real actors, like, that you right. get attached to. These are, like, four boys that are Made out of cardboard forever cardboard. fourth graders. That haven't aged in... Yeah, seventeen. It's just years. gonna be. It's gonna be so bizarre when that has a final episode. If you want to know when our final episode is, I was gonna say if you find it bizarre when our final episode might be, there are many different ways you can ask us because we don't know the answer to it though. But you can still ask us. You can do so by emailing us at threewisemedia at gmail dot com, or you. Oh wait, no, it's threewiseradio at gmail dot com. Joe, that's the know first the time. Show I, that Joe, we're you on. suck shit. That's know the first the time I've messed that up. In a long, long Getting time. Cocky. Uh, you can find us on Twitter God. at Three Wise Radio or hashtag Three Wise Radio. You can find us on Instagram at Three Wise Radio or on Facebook at Three Wise Media. Joe, you're hammered. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to do it for us this week. We'll see you next week when we talk westerns. Three Wise Radio is a production of Three Wise Media. For more information, check us out on Facebook. 